All right, guys, uh, Josh Royal, ASO Fire Training Division. Today we're gonna go over um, the new N95 cartridge that we have bought for our Scott AV3000 masks. So obviously with everything going on with the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we do have an issue with uh, N95 uh, masks, or the disposable ones uh, being on a short list, obviously, because we can run out of them. So what we've done is we've bought cartridge style um, filters for our SCBA masks if needed. So, when you see them, what they're going to do is they're going to go on the trucks. Um, a policy B will be released from Deputy Wilson, uh, directly telling us um, in the order of how these are used, but they will go on the truck. So I'm going to show you the different parts, how they go together, and how you can take them off um, for day-to-day -day use, right? So there's three major parts of them. We have the adapter that goes right on the front of the, the AV3000 mask. We have the filter cartridges or the holders for them, right? You can see there's two parts, and then we have the actual filters. So these here are a Scott N95 filter, right? And what these are for is they're gonna go in these cartridges and they are good to, for up to uh, eight hours of, uh, of exposure, right? So the idea is they'll, they'll likely be used uh, for it per shift and you can put them on and off. So what's gonna happen is we take the clear piece and the filter's gonna go into the clear piece with the writing facing outwards, okay? Now the black piece is gonna fit into it and it's a bit tight getting in there because obviously there has to be a really good seal and it's going to lock in. So you can see there's one that's completed, okay? See that one and then you can see how they are, how they go together, right? okay? So what's going to happen is I'll show you how this one goes on. So very similar to if you've ever used these for fire investigations, so sometimes they have charcoal filters, right? It's the same adapter as your uh, low pressure regulator. It's going to go in, right? Okay? It's going to twist and you want to make sure that you lock it in. Okay, so it's locked in now, it's nice and tight. Now the way these cartridges are gonna go in, they are notched to have a larger hole on one side, so if you look at the, at the uh, adapter piece, it does go in one, one way. So this one here, the, the uh, larger opening is at the bottom. It's gonna run like that, and it's gonna twist on and lock in. Okay, so it should look like that. I'll put the other one together just so you see it. So that sits inside. Okay. Same thing, it's gonna slide in. Okay. okay, locked in. Now this one here, it's gonna go from the top. And you're gonna to see that those little tabs wanna almost hit each other. So you have to just bend them out a bit and twist and it's gonna lock, okay? So now, you put your face piece on like you normally would with the AV3000s, they're gonna go over my head. I'm gonna adjust my lower straps first, then my upper straps, and if I need to, I can adjust the, the top temple strap, making sure that that meshes centered in uh, in the middle of, of my head in the back, all right? So again, these can be taken off. You should be able to take them off if you needed to just take them off, right? If you wanted to clean them, if, if after days, days use, you needed to take them off and disinfect them, they could be taken off, and you're just gonna wipe all the way around there, same as you would a regulator, all right? If you need to change them, they just pop off as, as, uh, as well, all right? Okay, so very simple. Again, we'll be releasing a policy uh, dictating on uh, how the use of them will go from day to day, but they're a uh, very simple thing, but uh, we do have a lot of these coming. So uh, as of next week, we'll be, re be releasing these to the crews and they will be on the trucks as another option, right? Thank you so much.